Today we're going to talk about some one-click face manipulation presets and color grading options using the Retouch Pro Photoshop Actions. Keep in mind that editing photos is subjective. What might look good to me might look bad to you. It all comes down to personal taste. It is a way of expressing your imagination and creativity. If you have a vision for a particular photo, go ahead, be proud, and express your style. If you'd like to purchase this panel, use my coupon code to get a 5% discount. Link is on the video description below. So let's use this image right here. And before anything else, let's duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. And clean up the face by removing the blemishes and dark spots using the Spot Healing Brush tool. Now we're ready to smoothen the skin. Let's open the Retouch Pro panel and select Easy. We select the brush tool, make sure that the color is set to white, and then we paint on the face. Please note that I'm only doing this quickly for this demo. When you do your own edits, make sure to take your time and be precise when brushing. Check what we have painted, select the mask, hold the Alt key, and click on the mask. Then we paint white on the areas that we've missed. And to go back, select the mask, hold Alt, and click on the mask. Now we need to bring back the details on some areas of the face which are blurred out. Select the brush tool again and this time, make sure that the color is set to black. Then we start brushing on those areas like so. Again, when you do your own edits, take as much time as you can. Alright, we're done. The effect is too much, so let me just decrease the opacity to 60%. This is the original image, and this is with the easy smooth skin effect. Let me show the entire frame. Before, after. Alright, this looks good. Let's now go to the face section and try to play around with the settings right here. Here we can adjust the dimension, height, and width of certain parts of the face such as the eyes, nose, mouth, and the overall form. Let's go with the eyes first. I'll increase the dimension by clicking the plus icon right here. Let's zoom in and see what it has done to the eyes. Before. After, so it has slightly enlarged the eyes. Let's go to the nose section and decrease the nose width by clicking the minus icon right here. Before, after, not bad. Let's skip the mouth section and go over to form. I want to slim down the face, so I will click the minus icon for the jaw. Before, after. Alright, I like that. Now let's group these three layers by selecting them and pressing Ctrl G. This is the before, and this is with the face manipulation. Let's zoom in. Before. After. The effect is subtle, but it made it look much more pleasing in my opinion.
Let's now go to the Effects tab. Here we have some color presets as well as water effects and overlays. Let's go here to Presets. And let's choose Glam 7. So in just one click, it automatically applied this look. Before. After. Let's zoom in. Do you like this preset? Comment down below. Let's go back to effects and try another preset. Let's choose desert. So it brings a different kind of vibe to this image. If you don't like the effect, you can always delete the layer by dragging it to the trash can icon below. Let's try another look. Let's go with Nude. Nice! I like this look better. Let's try one more. How about Cappuccino? This look is a bit dark and gritty. Again, if the effect is too much, we can always decrease the opacity right here. Before, after. So which of the three presets do you like the most? I'd like to know your thoughts, so comment down below. Now let's go to another tab called CG or Color Grading. Color grading applies a split tone effect to the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Unlike presets which applies exposure and color adjustments to the entire image. Let's go with number 3. As you can see, it created two layers with different colors for that split toning effect. This is the original image. This is with split toning 3. Let's zoom in. Before, after. Do you like this color grading effect? Now let's try number 4. Before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after. Alright, not bad. We can also combine the two effects by clicking the eye icon right here. Let's group them together. This is the before. And this is after. Let's zoom in and decrease the opacity to 60%. And this is the final color graded image. What do you think? Will you be using this color grading effect? Let's go now to the Finish tab. And under Background, let's change the color by clicking the Color BG button right here. The default color appears to be yellow, but we can change it to any color that we want by double clicking right here. Then we can pick any color that we want. Let's go with the dark blue background. Before, after. The opacity is set to 50% by default. Let's decrease it to 35%. Alright, that looks perfect. And that is how you apply effects and colors in Retouch Pro Photoshop panel. It is very easy to use and it applies the effects in a matter of seconds. With just a few clicks, you can come up with very unique, stylish, and artistic looks. And the possibilities are endless. Just be careful when manipulating the face. Make sure not to overdo it. If the client or model requests for those changes, then it's not a problem. Just don't change the face into a totally different person. So if you'd like to purchase this panel, click the link on the video description and use my coupon code to get 5% off. 
If you found this video helpful, please click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.